نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله طارق بن أشيم الأشجعي رضي الله عنه قال سألت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقلت يا رسول الله كيف أقول إذا أردت أن أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى One of the companions رضي الله عنهم He said I asked Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم What to say when I want to make dua or ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى يعني Uh, something that I uh, you recommend basically he's asking the Prophet وسلم, to give him something valuable to ask for I may think that something is valuable but it's not that valuable the Prophet وسلم, is the best guide فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ قُلْ اللهم اغفر لي وارحمني وعافني وارزقني ثم جمع الأربع أصابع إلا الإبهام He said Say O oh Allah اغفر لي Forgive me وارحمني Have mercy on me وَعَافِنِي Free me of any defect وَرْزُقْنِي Provide for me Then he put all of four fingers together except the thumb like this ثُمَّ قَالْ فَإِنَّهُنَّ يَجْمَعْنَ لَكَ خَيْرَ دِينِكْ وَدُنْيَاكْ Those four, that's why he made four figures. Irhamni, Irfili, Afini, Urzuk. Four. He said those four will basically include every good for you in this life and in the hereafter. The first two takes care of the hereafter. The last two takes care of dunya. اغفر لي ارحمني اغفر لي clean me clean me of my sins. So this is what we call in Arabic تخليه تخليه is to make your heart empty of sins. ارحمني تحليه to put the goodness inside your heart. That's why if a person is a disbeliever, for instance, or a sinful, he doesn't just go and start doing good. He repents from the past and then starts doing good. Repenting from the past, which is for a kafir, would be la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, that will cleanse his heart. Now his heart is open because If you bring a dirty glass and you add clean water on it, would it become clean? It stays dirty. So you have to pour the dirt out and put the clean in. So when you say, oh Allah, forgive me, you poured all the bad out of your heart because he subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you and then you stop putting good. So if you have the forgive the sins erased and the goodness is in there, definitely, You're going to Jannah. So that took care of the hereafter. Afini warzukni. Afini free me of trials, bad trials. And the worst trial is what? In your religion. You can have any trial in yourself. The worst that could happen is die. And you're going to die anyway. But to have a trial in your religion, like You used to pray and no longer you pray. You used to do good things and you start doing good things. You're a Muslim and you become a non-Muslim. Uh, these are the worst trials that you can have. And that's why 
the Prophet ﷺ told, taught us all the time, Ya muthabbit al-kulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Constantly ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to affirm your heart on la ilaha illallah. It's so easy to lose it. It doesn't matter who you are. So the worst is to lose your religion. So when you say, Afini, O Allah, free me of sins. Afini min al yani. Afini min al amrad. Afini min al masail. All of these, you free yourself from trials, from sins, from uh, any, any bad thing. So once you have this, the next one is urzukni, provide for me. You want to be healthy and free of bad things, trials and such, so you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's in dunya. And you cannot worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unless you have provision. Because you will be busy in provision. And you need provision that is halal. And you need to spend it in halal. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for you the halal sustenance that helps you stay alive and you are healthy and protects you from negative trials, then you're going to do your job and live a good life here, which leads you to a good life in the hereafter. And that's why uh, even Abu Bakr Siddiq <laughs> radiallahu anhu Asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qala Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu an Ya Rasulullah Allimni dua'an akuluhu fi salah Teach me a dua I say it in the salah Faqala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qul Allahumma inni dhalamtu nafsi Dhulman kathiran Wala yaghfiru al-dhunub illa ant Faghfir li maghfiratan Min andik Say, O oh Allah, I did wrong myself too much. Anytime you sin, you did bad to yourself. You're punishing yourself. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum, wa in asa'tum, falaha. If you do good, you benefit yourself. If you do bad, you harm yourself. And a zalim, the wrongdoer is not just a zalim who oppresses and does wrong to others. A zalim is the one who sins. You make, yes, you commit zulm against yourself when you sin. So the teaching of the dua to Abu Bakr Siddiq uh, is to confess to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you sin and you sin a lot. And no one can forgive those sins except you, O Allah. So this is confession of your weakness and confession of believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one who can help you, and you ask him for help. What does that do? It cleans you, and again, it admits you to Jannah if you have no sins. So this is a beautiful dua to do. There's uh, other forms of the dua. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa added to what I said, those four, he added, Wahdini warfa'ni. Guide me and elevate me. Elevate my status in dunya, which is knowledge, and elevate me in the hereafter, be it higher rank in Jannah. And the, uh, this is for Irfani. Ihdini means guide me to the truth, to the right path, to the things that pleases you in this dunya. So your sins are forgiven, and you have the mercy that purifies your heart and you are guided on the straight path and you are elevated naturally when you have knowledge you're going to do the good things for the guidance and then you are free of defect free of the sins and healthy and you have the provision the halal provision what else you want it's so simple Allahumma ghili warhamni وَعَافِنِي وَرْزُقْنِي Those four. إِغْفِرْ إِرْحَمْ عَافِي أُرْزُمْ Think of it. No sins. Bring mercy. Healthy. Food. Halal. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وجزاكم الله خيرا